What is going on guys? Brian here with another Clash of Clans video and today I got a super exciting attack for you guys. Now, I, some people said I was really lucky, that was really clutch, but we all know this was 100% YouTuber skill right here. Now watch this attack guys, it is absolutely crazy. Um, right here, this 2 star in this base. I was originally debating doing uh, Levalunian, however, I'm not really good at that attack strategy, but I know I probably would have had some success considering he has single target Inferno Towers. So I decided to go in with my balloons here. I'm going to lure out the Lava Hound right there. Uh, Lava Hounds are a pain because they just distract all your troops forever because they're super duper tanky and let your defenses go. So I was like, hmm, let's just put the Witch down and make the Lava Hound go for the Skeletons and then I'll put down some uh, Wizards and that'll take it out. And uh, after that, I'm just going to put everything down. So I know it's not going to hit any important troops. And uh, the wizards will take it out rather quickly, believe it or not. And same with my archer queen. And then I just decided to spread out my troops on this side because it looks good. Um, there's actually a really funny part to this attack. And it actually really sucks. Oh, we also just hit 60 million views on YouTube. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching my uh, channel. I really appreciate that. Any comments you guys do, it's just really, really supportive and I appreciate you guys more than you know free spell was terrible there it was way too early I could have gotten those three defenses don't know why I did it I, I really need to work on my free spells watch this over here guys um, my heroes are getting close to the town hall as you guys can see um, they're busting down the wall right now and uh, I'm out of free spells and this is pr this is pretty bad here so we got my heroes in the center we got my queen raged up right there um, she's sitting inside the rage which is good I always want to get her inside the rage my king's chilling uh, right here. I think he's okay. I haven't used his ability yet And then we got the mass amount of my troops right here Which is really really odd how they got down there that golem like changed its path and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute We're on 49% and Watch this bomb this bomb is just absolutely gonna wreck me Oh my gosh, that's about like 12 wizards right there and two witches boom where'd they go, right? <laughs> that's the worst feeling in the world. I actually posted a picture of that on Twitter the other day. And we're going in and watch this, guys. Here we go. Here's the clutchness. We're going to take down the Inferno Tower right there. Where's my king? My king's beating down that Inferno Tower. He's going to get wrecked here in a second. Now, I wish I had slow motion for this. I think I do, actually. We're going to put this in slow motion. And I'm going to show you how clutch this was. I'm going to press play and let it go. But watch how close she gets to dying. It is absolutely crazy. She lives. She must have had like one health. And she takes out the town hall right as the royal cloak goes out to give us the two star. Epic attack there, guys. We got 55% on that attack. Um, something I wanted to talk about. Oh, I can't do the play again, can I? Um, here, I'll just do the replay. I missed it. So right here, I want you guys to watch this golem right here. It was really, really confusing to me why he did this. Let me see if I can get it a little bit slower. Um... You guys might know. Maybe it was because of the clan castle troops or what. He goes for that wall originally, right? What makes him change pass right here? I want to know. Why did he change pass? If anybody knows, if you're smarter than me, that would be good to know. I thought he was going to go for that cannon. That would have made this attack a whole lot different with those troops going into this T intersection right here and completely avoiding that giant bomb. And probably would have ended up doing a lot better on the, on the attack. Um, but yeah, guys, so that was an awesome attack there. Um, I, I did my second attack. It was kind of a fail. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna show you guys this one, too. Um, even though this one isn't as clutch as the first one, it was still an okay attack. No, I should have attacked from the bottom. Um, somebody advised me that I should attack this base from the top, and I've, I've done this attack strategy from the bottom with some success. I decided to throw in two healers. I get his clan castle out, because if I'm attacking from the top, I don't want that clan castle to mess with me. Um, I decided to bring a heal spell too, which is a little bit different instead of the two rage spells I normally bring. And then I was like, hmm, I'm just going to put a witch down on the top because nothing's going to attack it. To bring up his clan castle troops and uh, put down some wizards to take them out. And then I just spam down my golems healers. I think I put them down a little bit too early and they're just going to get killed here um, in a second, which is kind of sad. So they're still, they're still good, I guess, but um, they're going to die here in a minute though, I'm pretty sure. And then my heroes split. They go off in separate places. I just put a heal spell down, and it was just a terrible attack. I completely regret it. We did get the, we did get the one star though. We were pretty close to getting the two star here. Had I not used my heal spell so early, I think I could have saved my queen right here, and she could have actually gotten the town hall, um, which would have been nice. It got pretty low there too. So the heal spell probably would have helped her because there was no inferno um, to stop the healing there. Um, but still, we make mistakes, guys. It's okay. But yeah, that first attack was so clutch, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we're winning this war right now. I'm going to be posting this. A lot of you guys are going to be wondering what happened to Eliminate. Eliminate, guys, I went to London, and when I came back, 
there was about five people in the clan. What I noticed is when you're a YouTuber running a clan, um, if you're not really active, a lot of people just want to join to talk to you. And a lot of times we can't really talk because we're really, really busy doing other things. Um, I try to talk in my clan as much as I can now, like in this one, and it's a lot easier when you're not the clan leader too. When you're a clan leader, I have the utmost respect for clan leaders. They do so much um, to keep their clans running and they do a great job. So if you're running a successful clan, I'm really proud of you guys. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. I just can't do it. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. I'm going to shoot for 600 likes on this video. I think we can do it, guys. Smash that like button and you guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.